biggest concern, investments on AI to make machines smarter. There's no limit to the amount of money that's been pumped into it. The investment in HI to make humans smarter, human mm. intelligence, <clears throat> that's just sad. It's sad that we're going to live in a world right around the corner where machines will be more articulate, analytical, critical thinking, banter ability, <laughs> um, contextual deep understanding while we have resorted to short tweets, emojis, memes, and stickers. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's so good. It's so true. It's easier to give you a, a, an emoji like this than to talk. I love it. Mike, right. what's going on? Are you doing this in your business in any way? Well, I, I think anybody that's not thinking about this, I mean, even with all the negatives, which, you know, there's a lot of fear around, around this stuff. I mean, you even said it earlier, like, you know, replacing jobs and, and people are wondering, you know, how their jobs are going to play out, but the best of the best don't have to worry about that. And if you're thinking about this future through that lens, then you're thinking about it all wrong because it's the people that are saying, how are we going to, number one, I'll start with like business owners. Mm -hmm. Um, this is it. You have to adopt this because if you don't adopt it, then you're paying every employee 50,000 or 80,000 or whatever that number is. And you're just going to become uncompetitive. Mm. That's, that's the real bottom line, you know, truly bottom line of your P and L answer to this. You have to learn to adopt it because humans are not going to be competitive enough. And then here's another fear conversation around this. Well, what happens when AI eliminates all the jobs? That's what I was saying. If you're an employee or you're a business owner or whatever, as a business owner, um, I hate to say it this way, but if you could eliminate, you know, 40% of your employees that aren't producing and get more efficient, you should be thinking about that as a business owner. As an employee, you should be thinking about AI is going to make me a better employee. Because if I can focus on like this AI that I'm talking about is just setting calls. So as an employee, you know, if you're in sales, you should be looking at AI. If your company isn't, you should be looking at it because if you can get more, if you can get more phone calls set by AI, that makes you a better employee. So we're looking at this all wrong and, and everybody should be looking at this from employees all the way to business owners and investors. <clears throat> Maddie, any final thoughts before we move on to the next topic? No, I mean, uh, I, it just kind of solidifies what Mike is saying. I think the people who are, are leaning in and using it as a tool versus looking at it as a threat, as an op, you know, and, and how much of an opportunity this can be. Every single one of my employees is required to use chat GPT every day. Um, I mean, from email and copy and marketing to building out backend funnels and automations to, you know, getting certain checklists and meeting agendas and systems documented. I mean, it's unbelievable how much it's honestly transformed our team. Um, I was just on my accountability call this morning with, um, with my group. And uh, one of the guys just got back from Necker Island. And he is not a, you know, super, super AI guy um, and kind of an early adopter. He said there was a guy there that was an insurance broker. And his company was doing, I think, you know, more, I think it was like four or five million dollars a year in, in sales. Um, he implemented this, a similar type of process of what we're talking about. They've got AI that essentially is taking their presentations and breaking it up into, I think, like 300 pieces of content in their seminars. And then based on the attention that that drives they've got ai essentially setting appointments and scheduling then taking the calls long story short this guy is 61 years old he embraced ai and technology and his business that did four and a half million dollars the year prior is going to do 18 million dollars this year hey guys if you enjoyed this snippet and want to catch the full episode head over to our youtube channel the king's table podcast 
The link is right down in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and ring that bell for notifications. And you are not going to want to miss this amazing content that we have for you every Friday. And remember, we love hearing from you. So drop your thoughts, questions, or feedback that you might have in the comments. We read everything and we want you guys to respond so we can engage with you. It means the world to us. A big thank you for being part of the King's Table community. And if you found value in today's episode, remember that the cost of listening is that you must share it with somebody that may benefit, whether it's your friend friend, your family, your coworkers. So please keep sharing, keep engaging, and until next time, stay royal.